everybody welcome back to the magnetic idex channel this is a, just a quick update to uh, show you what's going on on the magnetic idex front i've had some issues with the y-axis belt and uh, the original clips that i showed in my recent uh, short right here just uh, not adequate for high speed printing specifically high speed accelerations so I'm taking this opportunity to redo the gantry and I've added a tensioner to the y-axis so that's uh, really easy to adjust. I can release the belt and uh, very quickly tighten it up and get it to the exact tension that I want. I'm using Igus bearings as well and I'm pretty pleased with overall results so this is work in progress this is the other side so i'm going to a tri motor configuration where there's going to be a motor for each belt basically so uh, y-axis left y-axis right we'll each get a motor this is directly bolt-on compatible with the hole patterns on the on the creator pro and uh, so just remove the old mounts and bolt on the new mounts so these will have m3 heat sets uh, just like the original and since i'm touching all of this i'm redoing the uh, homing switch so this is the original creator pro and stuff and i'm replacing it with the optical and the beautiful part about this is that it's completely interchangeable so i have too much light pollution let me turn off the light for a second and just show you how this works so it's really sensitive perfect hopefully it's a basic opto interrupter with a little transistor there just to mimic a switch so it's directly plug-in compatible i just had to add five volts the um as Karamini doesn't have uh, 5 volts on the uh, end stop connector, it's just a two wire connector, but I just grabbed another 5 volts off of another pin nearby. I believe that's from an uh, e-stop. It has a power available to that, so I'm using 5 volts power, I'm not sure. I hope I don't burn this out. It doesn't work very well when I have this floodlight on, uh, so I kind of have to shade it a little to get it to turn on properly uh, so that's one thing to consider make sure this works in uh, with ambient light and whatnot but uh, I like that the footprint is smaller so I can package things neater and tighter on the y-axis block and also there's going to be another opto interrupter permanently screwed on here for the x-axis homing no y-axis homing x-axis homing is here I got that backwards. So that's my recent development. I will link to these guys in the uh, description if you want to take a look at it. It's marked as Lurge, I think. And uh, they seem to work well. I'm getting good signal. I just have to flip the invert the signal pin in uh, my config and everything will work perfectly. And uh, another reason for this whole um, redesign is that I really wanted the push push latch to work on both um, the tool zero and tool one and so it's a little trickier to get this to work properly with homing but I think I have that figured out and I'm building a new part for it uh, so uh, that homing will work without any interruptions while the tool is able to latch and unlatch so i think i can make it work with um without anything too complicated uh, but uh, certainly this uh, much smaller footprint optical and stuff will help me reach that goal thanks for watching and uh, stay tuned for more magnetic idx videos bye